What's up guys? It is Brent back here. And we are going back into some more Lee the Spire Downfall modded Lee the Spire. Uh, last time we played as the Silent, another loss, a citizen four. Uh, trying to remember getting back into it. Going back in with the defect, uh, Ascension 3 here. See if we can get something fun going. We have our gold saved from last time. And we have our whale here to, um, give us some kind of advantage starting out. Uh, common relic, card, who's all gold, a rare colorless. No, I don't really want a boss relic. Crack core is pretty good. So let's just go with the random common relic. Boy Battleship, whenever you enter a rest site during your next combat. So this will be good because we're actually going the correct way. We're not going from top to bottom. So that will have some benefits. Ooh, there's a question mark and a half path here. Look at that. Ooh, and then two elites. Shop. Or, no, or third elite. We'll decide right there, but there's another rest after it. And then the rest before the boss. Ooh, that's a nice path right there. Pretty spicy, but... We like the spice a little bit. All right, so defect here. I like the defect a lot, even though I have not that great of a track record with him currently, I do enjoy him. He is interesting. The orbs always end up with like fun synergistic builds. Nice. Um, I just need to remember, I need to pick up damage because I think that's my downside is he's a little bit slower um, than some of the other characters we play. Ooh, chill and cold snap are pretty good. Beam cell. We gotta kind of decide what kind of deck we want to go for. Remember, you become innate. <laughs> cold snap does the same thing on single target fights, except this is zero. It does exhaust. It's pretty much three block for zero over every turn. And exhaust. I mean, if we can um, push the orb through and channel it. I don't know if it's not channel. If we can. Evoke it. I think that's the correct word. Um, we would get eight, six or eight block. I think the cold snap's gonna be a little bit better. Give us some more damage and try to hedge um, some of that going into the elites up here. All right. Of course, they're going for the double, double attack here. But the orb so it is two and five is what it is. And it was evoke. Did get that correct? Um, nine. Yeah, we can kill this frontliner. I did not mean to do it that way, but he still died, so. Of course I meant to do it that way. <laughs> when it works out correctly, it's I did it right. Um, defrag. Pretty good one to get starting off here. Go with the eyes is not bad, but I think the defrag is a little bit more important. Go ahead and start getting up our focus if we're going to be playing an orb-based deck here. Now we'll go with that, flap that, and then continue through. It is early. Drinking a little bit of coffee. A couple sips. Um, we will go with this, and then we should be able to hit them. We'll take one damage here, I think, but I think having the extra block would be good. Oh no, we have the focus, so we, we don't take any damage. Math. Alright, take the defend. If I roll this over, we should be good. Don't even need to play anything else. Don't want to get our hands dirty. Ooh, capacitor, cold snap. I think we go ahead for the early capacitor. Downside is going to be we need to, um, oh, they're going there. No, I cannot do that. One apparition, lose 100 gold. It's not bad. We have that banked up. Argue with them. That'd be good to, yeah, let's go ahead and take the one apparition. Uh, if we can upgrade that, that'd be a good little, like, defensive play. Uh, I cost a hedron. This will either be very good for us or very bad. But we can head to the bets here. Natural one immediately. Whenever uh, this card is drawn, lose one energy. Of course. I was like, oh, this could be good for the gremlin fights. You know, we could get some vulnerability. We could get um, some kind of early advantage here that'll um, allow us to, you know, do more damage off the bat. Natural one. Operation heal, well, yeah, de definitely. Um, let's go ahead and drink the attack potion here too. Oh, um, well. I want the hyper beam. He has how much? 49 left. We'd want to deal, what, three next turn, probably? Our ores will do nothing, though. We'll be relying on our punches. I think I'd rather take lock on. Hyper beam is good, but we are playing an orb focused deck. 
Um, is it more damage? If I play this, should be yeah, thirteen, thirteen. I think that was better overall. Uh, six. That you're dead. Not bad. Natural run really sucks though. It's gonna make this very hard, very very hard. Um, early tempest, I'm okay with, but we it's gonna take miracle to get the energy. But does tempest upgrade to be plus one? It does, so we can play it for zero. Defrag's also good, but I think this is what I want first. That way we can always get at least it's at least at its worst uh, an upgraded zap. Um, at its best, it's a finisher. Or a good setup. Um, tin coming in. Defrag. Definitely. Zap. I want to take tin here to get a frost orb and some damage out. I think I do. Oh, we do lose the apparition. I forgot about that. Because we have not upgraded it yet. Ooh. That's not great. Oh, we drew a card though from... I don't know what. Oh, the first card you play also draws a card. I thought it was the the uh, toy battleship here, but I thought it was just you draw an additional card um, at the beginning of each turn. But no, it's the first card you play draws a card. All right, we're, we're, we're doing a lot of setup. Oh, here's a good one. Yeah, just go for this, right? It's a ton of damage. Yeah, we'll take 10 more. Well, a little less than 10. But that should help us in the fight pretty quickly. We can just now play defensively. Oh, well, actually, that'll roll over that. This will do this. Oh, I should have killed the back. Hopefully, they die the lightning. They do. Oh, they both die. That's how. I, that's what I wanted to see. It's weird that the middle one did not get scratched at all. Oh, natural one here. Um, play the block. I might have been able to kill him if I would have actually um. Yeah, if I would have evoked one of them, I think they would have died. Little miscount, but it's fine. Oh. <laughs> Alright, sip a coffee and think here. We go Meteor Strike. Now's the time to pick it up, if we wanted to play around it. Doom and Gloom's also very good. AoE. We can't play this at all. Yeah, it's just a dead card in our deck for right now. With the natural one, there's a lot of chances we might not be able to play it at all. Even with getting like two energy relics. I think we wait. I think it's too early. Doom and Gloom, I think I will take though. Just having the dark. Even if we don't like let it set. We just get the advantage of having the AoE here. Art of War pairs with our toy battleship very well. Oh no it doesn't. That's the... Ain't the T set. This one's just if we don't play any attacks. Which we don't play a lot of attacks so. Bad. Do we go for this elite or this elite? I think I want the rest here. The only advantage here is I get a shop, but well, and the extra question mark. Nah, that's fine. Tempest. Ooh, no. Cold slap, defend, and then Tempest would do. That should be good enough. Deep block. Uh, ooh, mm. Oh, well. Dual cast. There's the 10. There we go. Making the most of the natural one. Is natural one considered a curse? Yeah, soul bound. So what we need really need is um one, two, three, one, two, three. Um some way maybe blue candle or something where we can um exhaust the curse. I don't know, it's soul bound, so I know you can't remove it from your deck, but can you exhaust it for the combat? I don't know. Um none of these excite me. Cool head's pretty good. Do I want another and eh, we'll take one cool headed. A little bit of draw never hurt. Ooh, we can go ahead and read the Art of War. I don't think we've done that. That'd be interesting to do. I think it gives us a double play on an attack card, if I remember right. A double playing something like Doom and Goom or Cold Slap would be good. Uh, but before the... I kind of want to upgrade some cards first. Like, Zap really wants an upgrade. Apparition really wants an upgrade. Capacitor and Defrag. Yeah, I don't think it's quite time yet. We'll try to do some on the next floor. I think apparition. Well, you got a three, a two. I think zap being zero is going to matter more with the natural one of the deck, where we might have turns that we just can't play it. It's one of those cards I want to play. All right, oh, uh, zap, 
that, that sucks. Uh, defrag, capacitor. Got a little bit out. This one's gonna, this one's gonna suck. I can already feel it. It's going to be bad. Extra energy this turn. Well, I could just... Ooh, that's, that's very tempting. Eat the 16. Alright, cold slap for a little bit. Actually, yeah. It's cold snap, then play the tempest. Oh, I was hoping to knock that one over to get the extra, the extra block. Not quite. That'll do it though. We'll hit it for one. Yeah, he gets a little bit. But I think we have uh, a 16 here. Yeah, I think we have enough if I just go for it. No, we're eight short. Yeah, that wouldn't do it either. Doom and gloom might have done it. Ooh, but we're fine. They're done. Blood vial regeneration is great. Also, the regeneration uh, potion, very good. Hmm. And the next card is repeated. Uh, plus one until you run out. Does it go go to zero? It does. So do while with like zap or with like defrag. Very good. We need a lot of energy to make it work. But it allows us to play some of our powers repeatedly. I think we'll try it. It's 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 a little weird. I think I'll take the heal. Not really what I wanted. Oh, but this this makes it worth it. Oh, but okay. First. No, we fought the merchant last time and we got our butt kicked. There's a lot of good stuff here though. The extra money that we have is crucial here. We're gonna lose three from that. Okay. Hand of Greed's very good. Data Disc, very good. Another Defrag's very good. Lee's Waffle, very good. I can take this, this, and this. I won't get the Hand of Greed, but is that fine? Yeah. Because that heals us back up to max, and then. Yeah. That was a good shop. Okay. Um, Smith here. Uh, I want the Apparition Smith. I'm tired of it exhausting uh, for no effect. And um, with the slime boss here, it could matter a lot. Pastors here. Uh, ooh, do I want to defrag already? Uh, I don't get to use the do while for anything. That's fine. We had the natural one anyway, so. What was I going to do? Hit him for one? Ooh, we're not going to get back to our... Um, back to our Apparition. Zap here. I just want to hit him a bunch. Yeah. Alright. See what he does to me. Tempest defrag. Okay. This would be four. We need to get him down below 70. So we need to do 28. Actually. Do that. It's easy to do five. If I do this, I would do six. Uh, and this would do X plus one, so it'd be three more. It'd be 20. No, we can't get to 28. That'd be three more. That'd be, yeah. If I did just this at five, well, that'd be six. That'd be six, 12, 18, 24. Um, if I did it right now at five, I'd get four of them. It'd be 25. Yeah, because I can't end up pushing one of them off like I really kind of need here. Okay, if I take... Well, we're at full health, so worst case scenario, we just take a ton of damage. Um, if my math is wrong. Uh, this would do six. I mean, a frost. Do tempest for three. One, two, three, yeah. I, I really need to push one off to get the additional damage, and I don't think I have the ability to. I think we'll go for the defrag. Yeah, that does it. Um, Tempest here. That's 24. Uh, we're gonna take 35 here, just for the fun of it, but hopefully we can split them a little better this turn then. And with this hand, we definitely can. So we do do while. That. That's kind of the effect I was going for. Plus 24 more. These are gonna be very easy. 11. 
All right. Oh, they're both attacking though, which is not very fun, but I don't think it matters. Yeah. All right. It, it was a little dicey there, but we got through it. Rainbow machine learning bias cognition. Bias cognition is great. Uh, short term. Machine running is just an additional card, which is nice. Rainbow helps us fill out our slots. Two. I think I'll take Rainbow. Not that interesting, but it does do the job. Oh, it's definitely Cursed Key here. Um, yeah. Just have to remember that we're going to get a lot of curses. Ooh, we have the nonsense one there. Okay. Did this. Up to here. Uh, elites in a shop. Another elite up here. Another shop towards the end. Eh, it's a little dicey. I think I like the more rests. A bunch of rests here. We don't get as many elites, but we can get. I think we're going for the the best rests path. It's gonna be good for us overall, I think. Oh, good good starting apparition. Get that Tempest out here. Good. Take a little bit of damage, but not too much. Let's see. Let's do this first. Snap's great. That. Um, oh, we, yeah, we still have so much energy. We actually get to play out our whole hand. Even with the draw. Great. I was not expecting to be able to do that. Um, do I need to get do while upgraded because right now it's not worth playing All Right and then maybe rainbow here. Yep. Oh with both defrags Um, I think I can do this first a defrag defrag rainbow Um, Not enough to kill him though Too bad got 15 gold from us Got some of it back. Uh, silver pair is not bad, but I don't think I need it currently. I think we can just choose to not take too much damage. Cal's pretty good for elite fights. I do not need that many operations. I've already got one. It's enough. Oh, these dice are dicey. Um, faster. I, I want to strike one of you. Seven damage coming in. I'll play that. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Ugh. I forgot it's when you play cards. It's not like the other ones. It's, it's when you hit them. Seven bloom here. Uh, end? That's fine. Okay. Defrag. Rainbow. Up all those slots. 13 coming in. I really don't want to take that. I got five blocked there. I could draw. I could hit them. 15 now, but we got 10. I think that's fine. Not the best. Um, do I just fuzzy dice for a bunch of benefit? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's the negative here? Okay. Then extra energy this turn. Then yeah, let's do do while zap here. I don't know. Keep playing it. Fair in the bottle is great. Uh, I don't need a ball lightning. I'm enjoying what we have. Go here. Uh, then snake plant. All the ones that I don't like to start off with. That cool headed. Get the draw first. Ooh, early rainbow. Great. Hit them. All right. Uh, tempest. Oh. Uh, defrag. Defend. Tempest for like two. He is still hitting us to death. Ouch. Apparition here is great. Defrag. Hold snap. Okay. Alright. He should be good now. Actually, he's already dead. Do wild dual cast. <laughs> Not one I expected to work as well, but it did. Ah, uh, beam cell could be good for the do wild, but I think I'm good. You can make a whole deck with that. Um, I'm going to start reading my Art of War. I think it's fine. We have a lot of rest, so we can get it before the boss and still have the ability to rest and such. Deco Ghost! 10 damage coming in. Fine. Do I want to go ahead and use the apparition? No, I think I'll defrag. 
Suppressor Rainbow here. That'll give us four. We'll take a little bit here, but I think it'll be better to save it for a worse attack. Okay, he's going he has his ghostness, so we want to make sure we strike him. Defrag. Do while a strike. Play it twice. Oh no, we only get to play it once. I like that it doesn't just waste our energy though. Oh, natural one here. Gross. That thinks that I cannot get to the apparition. Yep, unfortunate. We got 16 though, so I only gotta take 15. Alright. That. Another doom and gloom here? I mean, I could do this for five. Which is a ton of block, yeah. yeah. And a bunch of damage, too, so. Yeah, he should be dead. If I can make sure I poke him here. Yep. Strike. Strike. Should have used the apparition earlier, but it's fine. Back potion I need. Uh, I'm going to take an auto shield. It's just good. So I had a sneeze there. Plus, water and future card rotation, you no longer be offered cards that you previously skipped. Pretty good. Dentures, whenever you play power, add a copy. Your discard for the personal time. That's good because we're playing stuff like defrag and capacitors. These are both good. I think I like dentures just a little bit more. Because having like extra copy of defrag and stuff without having to put them in our deck, it's on the second cycle that we're gaining that advantage. I like that. Holy bat. Yeah, you're gonna be annoying. Start setting up our stuff. We can't even hit them yet, so we just want to set up our orbs. The best of our ability. Get a dark orb that we could use to kill him with. Yeah, we just gotta draw the berries. Colonel berry. Snap. Ugh. I mean this is gonna be a long fight. Let's go ahead and drink this. Might as well not play it and get the advantage next turn. Apparition here is good. Frag, defend, and then I'm not gonna play strike. Okay, uh, there's the natural one. Uh, let's go ahead and play this. Capacitor here, and then I think I just wait. They're free to be attacked now. Okay, bunch of damage, but we got this. Um, fi Zap. Defrag. Cold snap. Rainbow. There we go. And then a defend also. Plenty of block and we will get the full benefit of our regeneration potion. Very nice. Tempest. Nope. Oh, Tempest. But this should be very good. Oh, I should have done that a little differently. Should have done it different, but it, I mean, it doesn't matter. It, we're ending with the lightning, but I could have finished it with a card. Nope. Hologram would have been okay, but not quite what I want. Okay, we will take a curse here. Loth, that's fine. New friend. Strikes and defends exhaust 50% of the time. Uh, I think I'd rather have courier. Especially since we have money we're stocking up. Read that otter war again. Another a chapter down. So here, approach, update body text. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna upgrade a card. Well, I have the chance. Oh, I could remove sloth. Yeah. Maybe should have done that. Uh, let's fix our rainbow here. Remove a card. Didn't matter. <laughs> Ended up working in our favor. Uh, oh, we did we already get this? Red. If you don't play a text turn, gain an additional energy and deal damage. And the attacks deal double damage next turn. We're good. Okay, upgrades. Do while, I won't upgrade it. Because, again, energy is kind of our crux right now. Ooh, another curse. That's fine. Auto tornado and thinking cap. At the start of each combat, draw. Combat. Draw the second to last card you played last combat. That's, no, that's weird. Uh, power in our opening hand. Um, da dum dum dum. Starting with defrag would be okay. I think I'd rather just take the sapphire key here and the gold. Smith another card. Ooh, we could rest though. 
I remember right, this dude kind of sucks. Yeah, I'll take the rest. Now remember, this mysterious rune is pretty hard. And play the icky. Get that out of here. Um, call snap. Defend. And we wait. Unless he's been nerfed since last time I played him. Um. Asher. Fine. Um, cool headed here. Ooh, auto shield. Very good. Do while zap. To put two of them in there. Not too bad. Uh, whenever you draw a card, take one damage at the start of your, of your turn. Can be prevented with the previous block. Okay, I see. Oh, it's whenever, whenever we draw. So our toy battleship is working against us now. Uh, go for the rainbow here. So this is an anti-draw deck, which is a little bit weird. Okay. So when we draw cards. See, that does not work though with the previous turn's block. We didn't keep any block. Hmm. Team suspect. Um go ahead of here. Auto shield. Let's put him out there. Do I Tempest for three? We would get this frost here. That really works. So it'd be seven additional block. Could be worth it. No, I think it's better to go defrag. And Tempest. Yeah, then we'll get 10 more right there. 22 is not bad. Respectable amount. I guess it is taking on last turns. It's just not showing it correctly. That makes sense. Do while I think I can get two rainbows here with this. Yep, I can. Which is pretty good. Let's get two of those off. Get 10 block plus 16 that we already had. Okay. Yep. Yeah, they're being all blocked, so it's fine. Well, apparition here for that. Do that, and I guess we'll get two strikes here. Uh, I don't know why he gained, but that's fine. Might as well play these two defends for the advantage because we're gonna get hit when we draw cards again. Already coming in here. Also, oh, what happened to all of our um we got our focus. What happened to our other powers? Our capacitor. Did I not play that yet? No, I did. There's the defrag. Hmm. I'm confuzzled. Okay, we're gonna take one here. Oh, we take two. Oh yeah, because we upgraded it. Zap, fine. Cold snap. Rainbow for three, I suppose. There's a sunblock. We're gonna take another, like, large amount of damage here. Yep, down to five. Not a lot I can do to it. Um, I mean, down to 71. I mean, 14 coming in. I'm, I'm fine on that. Let's do wild defrag. Double that. Yeah, not having the capacitor here is kind of working against me but I can't stack up a huge amount of orbs um, I need to uh, uh, attack potion currently have channeled it's not good enough I think I can do it like this though all lightning okay natural one here sucks that one damage also sucks but this is in the front we will cast it for 20. Pyramid, pyramid, defend. Goes out. No damage. Oh yeah, we're gonna take no damage. Okay. We'll take one on the upkeep here. Like that. Oh, that messed with the auto shield. That's fine though. Rainbow for the kill. That was weird. I, need I wish I could look back and see why our um, block disappeared. Or our um, capacitor disappeared. There was some kind of effect on him that we ticked over. But I don't know if that did it and like reset our powers. But whatever it was, it was weird and nonsense. Uh, I think I will take the meteor strike now. Yep, 
because we can we have a chance to get it here. Hmm. I really don't want to go up five ascension levels. Kind of rough. Smithing. The powers really want to be smithed. Same with the cool headed. Meteor strike is one more damage. Yeah. Wouldn't be the worst at the rest site. I really don't want to clock up her death because that's every turn, right? Yeah. This one's a tough one. I think it is Terracotta Horse, though. I didn't want to go up, but I feel like that was the correct move. Time Eaters. Going. Okay. I want to. I want to go with rests again. To get those upgrades I wanted. All right. So here, bunch here. Leads over here. And another shop would be good for me too. Early shop. Rest elite. Question mark. Here. It gives me two, well, three rests, two rests. One at the start and one at the end. If I go this way, here, so to get this elite and this elite, early shop, question mark, yeah. Take the, the rest and upgrade towards the end. Defrag, I mean. Defend. Tempest here. Damage. Okay. Apparition here is fine. Get the icky out of here. Defend and strike. Also, cutting a bunch of cards from the shop would be good. Or cutting a card. Auto shield. Do a while. Uh, I don't think I can play this twice, right? No, it's only played once. I have to do that when I have full five energy. Didn't matter, we were still blocked. Meteor Strike. Now the bruise pretty good. Library. Again, all powers when an enemy has to now. Interesting. No. Okay. Let's see. No Hyper Beam. It's really been trying to offer us Hyper Beam. Like a lot. Um, let's remove the curse. Get this out of here. Eating up a little bit of my energy. Now, oh, whenever uh, you blink and you block. Exactly. No. Whenever you draw a like, curse or status, draw one card. Not bad, actually. I like that, because we do have a... We're going to get more curses, and we sometimes get statuses. This would, like, dunk on a couple different ones. I think I'll take that. Oh, and we refresh. Play a power uh, card each combat gain. Six block and one turn. Yeah, actually. A uh, single turn game. No, that's fine. Those are good ones to start with. <laughs> And we always could try fighting another shopkeep. I don't really want the regret. I'll just take the 100 here. There's no guarantee we are actually going to get to another one, so. And this is an easy opening. This for six. It's not the most impactful, but it does put out a lot of damage on turn one. Sets up our orb slots. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't really want to do wild cold headed. I'd rather do a while hold snap. Cause I get to some block here, and then we can defend, defend. Cause I do wilds until they're dead, so. That's the advantage here. The fragment. Yep, and there's our strength. Rainbow. And block. It's you gone. And there we go. I don't want to hit him. He has eight thorns. Yeah, he's still gaining them. Uh, but this will be good. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that. Because he has 10, I, I can't even block it. We'll do this. No reason to take the damage. Alright, Crashford. No. Let them die on their own. Don't be impatient. Use all. I love polymerization. It's super fun. But I don't, I don't think we need it in this deck, specifically. Continue what we're doing. Oh, transit, my favorite. 
So shields. I don't really want the apparition yet. Well, I got the block here. He's going to do six. That's fine. I'll take six. That defrag. Full headed. Caster. Right. Right. And more. Oh, there's really a lot more this turn. Sixteen. Okay, here we go. Kick off a little bit here. Meteor strike. Then Tempest for one. Oh, that actually was not as good as I thought it'd be. Can I draw cards? Muddle the highest two cost. Let's try this first. Zero. Dual cost here. Actually pretty good. Then Tempest another one. We got it. Now this turn should be the good turn. I was hoping I could roll some over. The last I did not end up doing that. I mean, I can't draw cards is the problem here. I mean, block, I kind of want to drink them both. 26, he's doing 52. Ugh. 80 this turn. Oh, apparition. Oh, thank God. goodness. Do I all just punch him a bunch of times? Okay, we're good now. Took a lot of damage there, but we're good. How to boot sequence is not bad. Myth. Uh, defrag would be great. Let's get those upgraded. Because then you could, there's a chance you could put an upgraded one back into your deck. Which is nice. Oh, Nemesis, my favorite. Master, defrag. Here's where the boot sequence comes in handy. And Tempest here, develop those orb slots. Alright, he's intangible, so we gotta keep that in mind. Defrag, hold snap, 14 or 1. And, uh, just doom and gloom, I guess. Continue moving this stuff around. Ooh, ouch. Oh, apparition here. You're awesome. Shield, poke, poke. Still gonna be a slow fight though. 21, here we go. Um. Do I do wild a zap? No, I think I cool headed here. Oh, Meteor Strike would have been. Lick. I think I rainbow. There's some block. Then I do wild zap to play it twice. More block. And then there should be one more. Yeah, one more frost. So we make it out without taking damage. We did waste a lot of damage. Like from the some of the cards that we did have. Um well some of the orbs that we had. But it was either that or keep getting hit. Alright, impandability again. Yep, 21 more. There. Natural one again. Of course it is glued to my hand. Meteor strike for five, not really. Mm, Cause that's not gonna exhaust anything. I could do while rainbow for two. Would give us nine block from that. Plus whatever it channels. I think that's good. Oh, it just kills them. <laughs> I was like trying to math it out. Whenever you channel a lightning, trigger its passive ability. Okay. Equal to you might have gain a ramp push. No. Definitely the ball of yields. Ball of yield wiring. That's what it kind of looks like. Yeah, because we're still going a more passive route here with the two rests. We do have one more elite we're going to fight, though. Uh, add echo form? No. Add a card from your previous adventure curse of senses? No. Two colorless cards? Um, no, thank you. I'm going to click the other one. Finesse is fine. Place itself a little bit of block for free. Uh, curses here. D Boiling flask. Uh, to start your card, if your potion slots are full, choose a vapor card and add it to your hand. That's. Uh, well. Uh huh. Pain. Neither one of these are that exciting. 
I'll take the boiling flask because it sounds more interesting. Giant head, hello, my friend. Add a random vapor card to your hand. Upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat. Prevent the next time you would lose HP. Retain. And that just seems great. A capacitor. Rainbow. Finesse. Boots. All set up already. Then we defrag. Zap. Poke. Okay. Yeah. The head's not going to be that bad. Because we can continuously um, poke at them. And continuously gain advantage and scale a little bit. So the slower fights are definitely much better for us. Cool head is here. Yeah, I could Tempest for a million here as well. And you gain all of that back in terms of uh, playing the rest of the cards in my hand. Good, and getting plenty of block. So now we want to be able to rainbow again. Ooh, despair here. Don't forget to draw a pile of this card's placed on top. That's not too bad. Intangible here is great. And we did denture it back into the deck. Nice. Oh, he still took one. I was like, why are we taking damage? Panicked for no reason. Um, uh, 45 here. Let's go ahead and do this. Gives us one buffer. And then we can Meteor Strike here. Which sets us up very well for next turn. I like that. The Boiling Class actually turned out to be pretty good. Um, huh. Doom Bloom here. I cannot kill him. He's doing 50 damage. I think even after all this, we are going to die. I think. Re brought back. Yep. Okay. Happens. Rainbow here for a bunch of advantage. Strike. Defend. Defend. We have 11. Yeah, nope, 14, blessed of the I should have blessed the forge, I guess. I could have killed him. They yeah, were dead. Oh, another death. I'm just not used to the main characters anymore. <clears throat> Become blatantly obvious. 543 for the score. Um, well, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, next episode is episode 100. Uh, I'm thinking on doing a infinite run we'll see how that goes um but if you're watching you made it this far um, and if you would like to leave a suggestion in the comments of what character you want me to play if you want me to play one of the downfall characters one of the bosses or if there's a particular main character you would like to see suggest it down below and i'll play it um based on whatever one was suggested the most um if not i will pick whatever one's my favorite and we'll see how uh messed up we can get but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.